you are watching The Three Pointers TV on YouTube. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. I'm watching The Three Pointers TV. Come on, peeps. What are you waiting for? Like, share, subscribe to The Three Pointers. What's going on, people, man? It's Tees. I'm here at the Lost Hour pub in Greenwich, man. The Three Pointers TV. Listen, man, we just watched the Arsenal game. Um, came away with a really, really good victory. And it was semi-convincing. 4-1 victory. I'm here with my man. What's your name? Johnny. Johnny, yeah. Listen, man, what are your thoughts about today's performance? <laughs> it was a good game, yeah. Good performance. I, I thought we played well. Martinelli played well. Scored two goals, man of the match. It's good performance today. Good performance. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And you know what? We played against West Ham. I mean, that result there as well, man. Two 0 It was unexpected, right? Yeah, it was unexpected because West Ham have been good this season. So we 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 went there and we put them under pressure, and we won the game. So three points. So we got fourth. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's good. It's it's we're on the up. We're on the up. And beautiful assist from Odegaard, man. What did you think about that, man? That was delicious, isn't it? I could taste that, bro. That was gangster. 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 <laughs> yeah. Nice little chip. He dinked it. He dinked it in over there. Yeah, it was nice. The whole game was good. You know, Smith Rowe's doing well now. He's coming to the team. S strong. Top goal scorer right now. But with the Obama Yang situation, I don't know, man. It's the Obama Yang situation. I don't know. But I don't know whether he's going to stay. I don't know where he's going to go. That's I was just, just, just going to say, do you reckon that's it for Obama? Like, January's coming, you know what I mean? Transfer window's going to open soon. I don't think he'll go in January, but I think he'll go in the summer. We do need another centre half. We've got a young team we're building. So Aubameyang's getting, he's getting on. So is Lacazette. I think we need to bring in, a, bring in about two, two more strikers. And I, I, see, I see you mentioned young team. So um, we're seeing the process. Are you trusting the process, right? Are you seeing the process being, you know? Oh no, I don't know. I don't think Arteta is, I don't think Arteta will take us the extra step, you know, that we need to be at as an Arsenal football team. I don't think he's got the managerial credibility to push us to the heights we need to be at, you know? We need somebody, like a proper manager that's won stuff, you know? Like, like Conte. We need someone strong like that. And then Chelsea's got Tuchel. We need someone strong that can push us to the Champions League, you know? But, you know, we'll just let the season pan out and we'll see how it goes, innit? And if, and if Arsenal manage to finish Top four, what are, your, what are your thoughts gonna be? I don't know, I don't know. You know what? You know, I'll just put my faith in Arteta right now. You know, I'll just put my faith in Arteta right now. You know, I'll just put my faith in Arteta right now. You know, I'll just put my faith in Arteta right now. Now, you know, I'll put my faith in him for now, for now. But I just, I don't know, but I just still don't think he's got, he, he can push us that extra. I just don't feel like he can push us that extra. But you know, right now he's doing well. I give it to him, I give props to him. Like, he's got us fourth and, we're, and, and now we're going strong. We're catching up to Chelsea now. So, you know, it's just onward and upwards now, fam. Yes, Free Pointers TV, myself the tease. I'm here at the Lost Hour in Greenwich with my main man Ayo, aka 1886 in the Dunya. Listen, listen man, we've got three points today. We just watched the performance. Arsenal played against Leeds. They played away at Ellen Road. I'm surprised Ayo, man. I'm kind of surprised, man. Like, we're doing all right. What did you think? Nah, bro, they needed to get banged. Like, if Man City are banging him three, uh, seven nil, then we got to do what we need to do, but as I was saying to you before, like 4-1, conceded a silly goal, Ben White. Should have been a clean sheet, I feel for Ramsdale, I really do. It should have been a clean sheet. And it's typical Arsenal, but it's a team we love, isn't it? Like, ultimately, you look at it, 
Man City 7 0, Arsenal uh, 1 4, 4 1, whatever. And that's the sort of result you expect from this team. You did mention to me about Lacazette in the first half, man. Tell us a little bit more about that, man. Lacazette is an attacking midfielder in disguise, you know, or in denial. Because as far as doing the job and being a killer in front of the goal, he just frustrates me continually and continually. Like two standout performances, and he performed as a footballer, yeah, but he weren't on the score sheet in two big games where we performed really well. And both games he had really good chances and he just didn't put the ball in the back of the net. You say that, but what did you put that down to? Because it just seemed to me, just watching it, how he was so motivated in the first probably 15, 20 minutes and then just somehow during the game, he just started to fade out a little bit. He looked a bit legless. You know, is, is this why that we don't see much of Lacazette? In the, in the first team? Yeah, but I mean, I hear you and I said the same as well. I agreed with you, but ultimately Arteta kept him on. And I think the reality is he's a senior player in a team that's pretty much youngsters. So I understand why Arteta wanted him on. But ultimately he doesn't get the goals we need. We need goals from someone wearing the number nine shirt. For me, it's mad that someone can wear a number nine shirt and they don't score anywhere near as many goals as they should do. Now, I know the game's changed and strikers need to press, which he does, although he didn't do that great in the second half. He was tired, he looked fatigued, but ultimately he's not getting the goals that we need and it's, we're relying on the youngsters yet again. Look at, the, look at the score sheet, you know, Martinelli twice, youngster, Saka, Emil Smith-Rowe, all of them youngsters. The youngsters are scoring the goals. The guy who's a senior guy, 30 years old, on big money, he's not scoring goals. That is not good enough. It's not good enough. And, and talking about um, Oba now, of course, big wages, not doing the business for Arsenal, and it's been a little while now. Have you lost total patience in him? He need to go on. He need to go on. He need to go. He needs to go. Aubameyang is dead to me. He's dead to me. He's done out here. Like from when he liked the IG of Ronaldo after getting banged by Man United. You know, I'm done. I'm done. Lacazette is the better all-round footballer. Aubameyang should be the killer and has been the killer before. But his whole mentality, his whole mindset, I just don't want him at Arsenal anymore. I'm done. Like, I just don't want him. Like, it's not working out anymore. And he might even improve in the latter part of the season. But as far as I'm concerned, he should not be leading the line. And on a positive note, um Let's talk about Odegaard for a little bit because uh, I say Odegaard, not Odegaard. Odegaard, he, um, he did pretty well. Um, good performance by him. Yeah, he needs games like those types of games against teams like Leeds. He needs to really get up to speed and acclimatise in the Premiership. You know, it's a tough league. It's a physical league. It's an intense league. And he's not played much football um, and the football he has played is at La Liga, and that's a completely different style of football, different uh, tempo, you know? And uh, Premier League is much higher tempo, much intense, much more physicality, and he's gonna need time, and you could see their players trying to rough him up and try and, you know, dishevel him, put him off his game. But, you know, he was up for it, and I think he will continually be up for it. And just one last thing that's been bugging me as an Arsenal fan and probably to a lot of other Arsenal fans Io is uh, you know we tend to you know we tend to be like high press uh, you know high intensity you know for the first again first 20 minutes half an hour like the second half was nowhere near at the standards of you know like uh, the, the first half I mean this has been ongoing for quite a while what, what is that due to why is it that Arsenal tend to sort of allow teams to come back into the game all the time. What, what do you think that's due to? Like, what, why is that happening? Well, I think it's both a mixture of things. I think it's both mentally and it's both physical, the ability to stay at that high peak level of intensity as a footballer. 
Now, with the mental, I think it was different today because we had early goals. We could have been 5 0 up by half time. Sorry, 4 0 up by half time, you know, and I think we got the two early goals and that made us believe, you know what, we've got this, you know. But when we don't get the goals or when they score first, no, what usually happens in recent games is they score, no, we're intense and then we look like we're scoring but we don't score, they score and then we're all like, oh, what's going on now, what's going on now? And then we try and get back into it a bit more intense and then it's too late and we end up losing or drawing. So today was slightly different. We knew they were there for the taking, we got the early goals and even though we did do our usual, you know, uh, lack of, you know, intensity, we still, in our minds, we felt comfortable, though I was getting worried it was going to be um, too free at one point because ultimately, you know, we fell back and we gave them space and they were attacking far more in the second half than the first half. Listen, man, thank you very much for that, Io. Yes, big up, man, big up. Yeah, and you heard it, man. So, uh, again, it's a free point as TV. If you like the video, don't forget, like, share, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we see you on the next one.